The process that you're seeing here is a sub-assembly for a shower supply or a tub supply. We build as much offline of our production line as we can. This assures of our quality and consistency in our product. We're also able to do plumbing trees which for, for drain and waste and for supply. We have a tub shower combination unit here getting ready to be installed into a unit. We'll pre-plumb it so when it goes on to the uh, floor, the drain plumbing is already completed. In our process, we want to eliminate as much work online as we can and do as much offline, which ensures that we continue to uh, roll our process smoothly. One of the many options that we offer here at Avis America is copper plumbing. Some of our customers request that, some state codes require it. We offer copper and we also offer PEX plumbing systems. Here we are, we're in our plumbing station where we actually lift the home up. Any two-story home, our second floors have to be plumbed. This house is using PEX plumbing. Also, you see the waste lines already installed. Once we install the waste line and the plumbing line, we test for leaks uh, through the process. What we're looking at here, as I talked about it previously, is blocking for our kitchen cabinets. We back block for all the cabinets. If you look actually in through the window, you can see all the blocking that's installed behind the cabinets. It allows us to complete the cabinet process very efficiently. As we move down the line, you're going to see different processes going on. Electricians are installing wires, plumbers will be installing any vending or drain lines. As you can see here, some of the things that we do here, you can see this product here, it's a fire stopping or a smoke stop. We build to so many different codes uh, through the 17 states that we build into that we adopt some of the more stringent codes and do that as our standard. So typically, a homeowner that buys a house from us is getting a house to a higher code than actually his or her code may require. We do this to help our process, and the fellows don't have to rethink everything when they go to do it. So we adopt the toughest codes, and we build to those codes accordingly. What you're seeing here on the wall also is we back block our drywall. Our drywall on all of our exterior walls is put on horizontally. By putting this back blocking on, it eliminates any horizontal cracking or shrinking of the drywall. This helps also in our transportation process to get the product there in the manner that we expect it to arrive. We also, after we install all of our circuits, we do a dielectric test to check shorts and any uh, continuity breaks. What we're seeing here now is the process of filling a mud box so that we can put the joint compound on the ceiling or walls. What we do is put a first coat on and then the second coat is applied with a mechanical process. We're able to go through the room, complete this in about 10 minutes uh, compared to a site builder who has to allow at least a day for the joint compound to dry. We accelerate our drywall compound anywhere from 10 to 30 minute drying time. What you're looking at here is actually an infrared heater that we use to help dry our joint compound. By being infrared, it heats the object, not the air, which allows the drywall compound to, to dry in a, a rapid fashion. Through our manufacturing process, we need to keep continuing down the line. So by the use of these tools, it allows us to complete a process, move on to the next one, and not have a delay. We're now seeing cabinets being installed by our craftsmen here. We offer a lot of different varieties. We have 30 inch, 36, 42 inch wall heights. We do different soffit applications. It's all based on what the customer's needs are.